Hi everyone, welcome to a 10 cards, one kits video. Today I'm creating with the May card kit of the month from Spellbinders. This one is adorable, it's called Koala Smiles. So as usual, I'm going to show you the unboxing. It always comes in this cute little box. The kit this month has an Australian flavor to it. So let's pull this out of the box. And I'll show you everything that's included. You always get so many goodies in these card kits. So here is the contents page. It shows you how to use the dies as well as everything that's included in the kit. And this time you get to make up this adorable little koala. It even includes a little tree branch for the koala to hold onto. In every kit, you get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. There's a really nice texture to these card bases. And then you always get adhesive. Let me find it here in the kit. This time it came together in its own little packet. So you get foam adhesive as well as double-sided adhesive. And these are great for taking your kits on the go. This month, the sequins are this brilliant fuchsia. They come in different sizes, which is nice. And here is the stamp set. It has the most beautiful floral image on it and some really nice sentiments. You get birthday sentiments, thank you sentiments, and then some everyday sentiments, like one of them says to a beautiful person, and I hope you feel beautiful today, and so forth. So here are the dies. Let me pour these out and give you a close-up look at these. A lot of them are attached, so you only have to run it through once to get several pieces, which is really nice. And you get a bunch of leaves and a tree branch. It also includes two sentiment word dies. One says, let's hang soon, and the other one says, hang in there. So I will store these on my Spellbinders diamond so I don't lose any of these smaller dies. This is a really strong magnet. I love this thing. I always keep it on my desk. Here are the die cut shapes, and I will give you a closer look at this in just a moment. You get a bunch of stickers this month, so you get some pretty gold foiled sentiment stickers, and then a double-sided chipboard sticker set. Again, they have a very Australian flair. And then you get some more sentiment chipboard stickers with a lot of sentiments included in this set. And now for the pattern paper. They always provide you with such beautiful patterns and a lot of them. You get two of each. So let me th flip through this for you. Look at those cute koala bears. But a lot of different textures and types of patterns. I love their floral patterns. And that's such a cute note paper pattern. And some eucalyptus leaves, a map. They're just all very different from one another. I tend to use up a lot of the pattern paper when I create these 10 cards, one kit videos. And these patterns coordinate perfectly with the die cut shapes. So they're really fun to play with. I love this particular pattern. It matches the stamp set. <laughs> and now for the cardstock, you get a double sided foil, a cream, a black, gray for the koala, and a brown, purple, pink, green, and a blue. So, as promised, I'm going to give you a close up look at the die cut shapes. So I just spread them all out on my mat so you could see all of them at the same time. And again, you get two of each. I love this particular piece right here. You get some really pretty florals this time that include eucalyptus branches, which are so pretty. You get a lot of tags. I liked this little camera here. I'm going to use this on a card. And a lot of kangaroos and a lot of sentiments as well. So this is just a really fun pack. For card number one, I went straight to the die set. I love this little koala. I went ahead and made one up. I'm going to show you how to put this together. It's very easy. 
And I went ahead and cut out all of my pieces using the cardstock from the kit. And here are the sentiments that say, let's hang soon or hang in there. So let's start with the koala. I'm going to pull out this little mat to glue everything onto so I don't get glue on my new work mat. So it is embossed. A lot of the images are embossed so you know right where to glue things together. So we'll start with his little white belly and it tucks under his arm. So I just put that in place and then I'm going to glue it down. Just use a little drop of glue on each end. Here's a close-up look at his little belly. I think this was the most difficult piece for me to figure out, but there it is. Next, I'm going to glue a piece of black cardstock behind his eyes. And I just cut out a small sliver of the black cardstock to do this. And then it shows up black on the other side of his little face. That looks so cute. His nose I cut out with the black cardstock as well, and his little claws or hands. So let's glue on his nose. I cut out his ears with white cardstock. It came in the little set with his belly, so I am going to color these in with a Copic marker. I'm using an R11 to do this. It's just a really pale pink. And then I can glue these into place. The pink ears look so cute. And again, there are embossed lines on the ears, so you know exactly where to place this. Let's do his second little ear. And then we can glue on the first ear. Because this ear is separate, it adds some nice dimension to this piece. Next, I'm going to glue his head on. And then last, we're going to glue on his little claws. They are so little. This was a tricky bit. <laughs> so I'm just putting glue on the claws and then picking up the claws with the koala die cut. Next, we'll glue on the piece that goes on the end of this branch. I just, again, cut that out with white. There are a lot of little twigs as well on this branch. So they are where you're going to place your leaves. I like the twig on these branches to be in front of the leaves. But of course you can put them on top of the little twigs if you'd like. On some of the twigs I'm just putting one leaf, like so. And then on others, I'll add two leaves to it. Let's attach one more leaf to this twig. And then once that has dried, we'll add the koala. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down on the branch. And I think I put too much glue. <laughs> kind of got messy here. And then we can attach his arm on the other side of the branch so that it looks like he is hugging onto or holding onto the branch. So cute. And that's all there is to it, but I want to add a little bit of gel pen to add some highlights, just add some cute touches to this piece. So I'll add some highlights to his ears and to a few of the leaves. We'll put some on his little back. And then I think it's really necessary on his nose just to kind of break up the blackness of his nose. And I wanted to put some on his cheeks. This just adds a really cute touch. I brought in the Clouds and Sun die set from Spellbinders. And I'm just going to color in this sun with a little bit of Distress Oxide inks to give it some more dimension. I don't want it to look so flat. And then I'm using a piece of the blue cardstock from the kit for my background panel. I'll add a little bit of a darker orange to this sun. 
for my blue panel, I'm going to add some prize ribbon at one side for the sky, just a little bit along the edge. This just adds more interest to this card panel. And then on the other side, I'm going to use some mowed lawn. And this will help bring out the greenness of the leaves on the tree. But you could skip this, of course, if you'd like, but I just liked that added touch of interest to this blue paper. It really helps starting with a piece of colored cardstock because you don't have to use up as much ink. It's really fast to blend on. So here is the panel ready to go. Now we can start gluing the koala and the tree branches onto this. I went ahead and cut out another tree branch just to add a little more fullness to the card. I'm going to glue this down onto a piece of the pattern paper. And then I'm going to place the sun first. I'm just going to glue everything down flat. Next, we'll glue down the second branch. Then, of course, I can just cut off the overhang once I've placed this. And now for our main piece. This would look cute popped up as well, but I decided just to glue it down flat. I want to place the whole branch on the card so I don't have to cut anything off of the main piece. And now for the sentiment. I just cut this out with black cardstock and I'm going to glue it down flat at the bottom. Mine, I decided to use the sentiment that says, let's hang soon. It's so much easier to do if you have tweezers to help you out <laughs> with this part. I'm adding a few confetti pieces just around the sentiment. These are green, so they are very subtle, but it just adds a touch of sparkle. And then we can glue this onto our card base. I wanted this to be top folding this time, so I'm pulling in a card base from my stash. And then here is a close-up look at the finished card. That koala is so adorable, and this is going to be a fun card to send out to a friend. Now on to card number two. This is going to be a really fast one. I'm just using some green pattern or green cardstock and glue that down onto the card base, leaving a white border on the left and the bottom of this card. Then I picked out a piece of pretty plaid pattern paper. And we'll do the same thing. We're just going to glue it down in the top right corner, leaving the green border around it, or at least on two sides of it. Then I'm just going to build a little bouquet using this very striking flower for the centerpiece. I'll tuck some greenery under it. I love these gold leaves. They add such a pretty sparkle to the card. And then the flower I decided to pop up with some foam adhesive. The sentiment comes from the chipboard stickers. And I'll just attach that at the left of the flower. I'm going to pull in a few of the bright pink sequins and glue these around. And here it is all done. Such a bright, summery looking card. The sentiment just says, your friendship is a gift. For card number three, I'm using another piece of this green cardstock. And I think this is one of my favorites. So I'm going to attach the green. There's not going to be any white border around it this time. Next, I'm attaching this cute notepad pattern paper. And I cut it just a little bit smaller than the green cardstock. And then I'm going to glue a lot of the eucalyptus branches down and some other foliage. 
These will all go down flat. The little bird I'm holding up is going to be the centerpiece to this card. I'm just kind of holding it in place just to see where I need to put more of the foliage. I'm thinking that must be an Australian bird. I'll have to look that up. But there are a lot of kangaroos and koala bears in the die cut shapes as well. This is going to be a birthday card. And the birthday sentiment came from the die cut shapes. So I decided it needed just a little more color. I did put my bird in place using some foam adhesive. But after I put the bird down, I decide to gently peel it up. But it looks so cute in the center of all of that foliage. So I'm going to peel up the bird now <laughs> after I put my sentiment down <laughs> and add a little bit of color. And I could have left it just as it is. It looks really pretty. But you'll see how it just really pops when I add some ink behind the bird. So let's gently peel up our bird and add a little bit of worn lipstick. I'm using a small Brent blender brush to do this, and it was just the perfect size just to get in between the foliage. I'll add just a little bit more. I'll extend it out a little bit. And then I'm going to put the bird back in place. I did rip the paper a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to be hidden. I added a few of the sequins. It just matched the worn lipstick ink perfectly. And here is the cute little birthday card. I decided to add a chipboard sticker butterfly just up at the top. And here's a close up look. This is one of my favorites of this set of 10, I think. The lined note paper behind the bird and the foliage just looks so cute. It adds a fun, playful touch to it, I think. For my next card, I'm going to start with some purple cardstock and glue this onto the card base, leaving a white border. I use some elegant, elegant twist dies to cut out this gold piece. And it comes in all shapes, but I have the square ones here that I'm using. This will be a pretty background for these little beautiful bottle die cut shapes that I'm going to glue down. I'm gluing down a piece of pattern paper to put down behind my jars. And then the sentiment, I'm going to pop up with some foam strips and it just says, happy day. So it's just a general card that you can send out anytime. All of the jars and flowers I'm gluing down flat. So we'll start with the tallest one in the middle and then tuck the other two behind the middle one. I thought these little jars were so pretty. You could pop these up as well and it would look really nice. And then I'm using a chipboard sticker that says gorgeous and I'll glue that at the bottom. These chipboard stickers are only slightly tacky, so I always make sure to use some liquid adhesive behind them. And then we'll put a few of the gold hearts around this panel. I like that they come in different sizes, so these will be used in place of any sequins. Let's put one more small one up at the top. I guess it's kind of more in the middle. <laughs> and here it is all done. With these pretty die cut shapes, you can really put some fast, beautiful cards together. For my next card, we're going to start with a piece of patterned paper. And I'm gluing this down onto a piece of black cardstock. This piece of patterned paper is really pretty. It almost looks like a watercolored piece. I'll use a die cut shape tag and I pop this up with some foam adhesive. And then I'm going to use some licorice twist twine to tie a bow up at the top of this tag.
Before I tie my bow, however, I am going to wrap this black licorice twine around the panel a few times. This will just give it some fun interest and a little bit of texture. We'll just wrap it around about three times. So let's do one more. And then I'll use more of the double-sided adhesive to hold this in place. I'm going to add a few more strips of this over the strings just to really keep them tamped down. Let me trim off the licorice twist. And then I will take the backing off when we add this to our card base, as well as add a little bit of liquid glue. So this panel will not budge at all. <laughs> Next, I'm using a micro dot behind my bow. And I've learned to use a little dot of liquid adhesive as well, just to make sure that it stays in place. I'll keep the ends of this bow kind of long. And then I can tuck some of my floral die cut shapes under the bow. So this is the main piece that I'm using. And then I'll just tuck some more of the eucalyptus sprigs, as well as these pretty gold leaves behind it. Some will go behind the flower. And then some I'm just going to tuck behind the tag. We'll make it nice and full with a lot of extra pieces. So the sentiment is going to be a chipboard sticker. And again, I'm going to add glue to it so it doesn't fall off. And it just says hello. It's just a very simple, cute, little sentiment on this card. Added some gemstones around this panel. And here it is all done. I like how the black of the twine brings in the black border. And now on to my next card. I'm going to use this cute camera die cut shape, and this will be the focal point of this card. Here's another piece of pattern paper that I'm gluing onto a piece of black cardstock. Then I'm going to add a few strips of paper along the side of this. I put this in front of a white piece of type paper just so you could see it better. Sometimes the black cardstock gets lost in my mat. So we'll align that up. And then I'm just going to add lots of different pieces, die cut shapes to this card. So this is kind of like a collage card. I'll glue a lot of these pieces down flat. The little doily die cut shape is going to be kind of the background for my camera. It just helps to bring it out a little bit. And then here is this cute little frame we'll use to help focus the eye on this camera as well. The camera I popped up with some foam adhesive. One of the sentiments that I'm using comes from the chipboard stickers, and it just says memories. We'll put this above the camera. And I wish I had stopped here, but I do bring in the circle chipboard sticker sentiments. And I put them at the bottom of the card. I like the simplicity of it right now, but I just went a little bit overboard with the sentiment I'm going to put at the bottom. So it says hashtag smile, and I don't get them perfectly aligned <laughs> either. But it is what it is at this point. I thought about pulling them up, but it would rip the paper. And then I'm going to use some gold gems around this card. But the good thing with this kit is everything comes in two, so I can recreate this card again if I want to. <laughs> Let's put one more gem kind of up at the top. And here it is all done.
These die cut shapes would be great for a scrapbook layout, I think, as well. Now it's time to break out the stamp set. And I'm going to stamp out this flower several times on this purple panel. I'm testing it out on this piece of scrap paper first and just to condition the stamp. This is some VersaFine Onyx Black ink I'm using, which is a great ink to use when you're not using your stamp positioner where you can stamp it out several times. This black ink's pretty much a sure thing. So I'm going to stamp it a few more times just to fill up this panel completely. And then I'm going to do some focus or spotlight coloring. I'm going to pull out my colored pencils and just color in a portion of this. It's so fun to color on colored cardstock. It gives you a nice base to start with. And I just colored very simply with some purples and pinks. And this is the little spotlight. So I'm going to frame it with the frame die cut shape. I'll glue this onto my white card base. This card went together really fast because I just, of course, colored in a portion of the florals. And then I'll stamp the sentiment onto a piece of white cardstock. I'll cut this out into a strip and cut the ends into banners. The sentiment says, you are celebrated today because to know you is to love you. I thought that was such a pretty sentiment. Then I'm adding some purple gems around this panel. And here it is all done. I'm thinking that these must be Australian flowers as well. I'll have to look that up too. These florals would be really fun to paint in with some watercolors too. I'm going to have to do that. For the next card, I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending for a panel behind some of my die cut shapes. So I'm using aged mahogany. This is such a pretty dark pinkish red. And then in the center, I'm using salt water taffy. And then at the other end, I'm using spun sugar. And my spun sugar was really dry. I have to re-ink this. And I thought I had a re-inker for it, but I didn't. So I just had to do my best at blending that into the salt water taffy. I'm trying to get a really smooth blend on this panel. For this card, I'm going to use one of my favorite pieces of pattern paper, and it is the little eucalyptus paper. But first, let's glue this down onto the white card base. And then at the bottom, I'm going to glue a panel of the eucalyptus pattern paper. I have a lot of floral die cut shapes picked out there, but I only end up using just a few of these at the side. So these will go over the ink blended portion of the card. And then to create a good transition between the pattern paper and the ink blending, I'm putting down this gold cardstock, just a strip of it. And then once that dries, I could just snip that off. I'm using the second die cut shape that says happy birthday. And then I'm going to glue down these chipboard sticker hearts. These will be in place of any gemstones. And I'll just glue them down around the sentiment. I think the eucalyptus pattern paper looks really nice with my ink blended panel because you can see little touches of pink on the pattern paper. Let me hold this up close so you can see the pinks on the eucalyptus leaves, but isn't that pretty? I wish I had cut my ink blended panel into two, and then I could have gotten two cards for the price of one. For card number nine, let's do a little bit of collaging. So I pulled out all of the die cut shapes that had to do with Australia, and I'm using this cute piece of pattern paper that's the, the wooden boards. I'm going to start adding my pieces diagonally up this panel. So we got the kangaroo and then the little map of Australia. 
Here's a photo of some famous landmark in Australia. Next, let's put down this stamp. And then the frame. And this is going to frame the envelope with the flowers popping out of it. We'll glue this down flat as well. This is going to be really easy to send out into the mail. This little sentiment says by airmail and it provides a nice pop of bright color. We'll add the butterfly up at the top. And that's all there is to this card. I didn't even add any sequins or gemstones to it. I liked it just how it was. Card number 10 is going to be super fast and simple to put together. I love this piece of pattern paper that have the florals on it that match the flower die cut shape I'm going to be using. Next I'll add another piece of pattern paper on top, the pink and white stripes. We'll just glue this down the side. And of course you can use your double sided tape that came with the kit, but I'm just using the glue to save me time editing this. <laughs> it goes a lot faster when I just use my glue. The flower I'm going to pop up with some foam adhesive, but I really do love their double-sided adhesive. The sentiment will come from the chipboard sticker pack, and I'll glue this flat just under the flower. There were a lot of chipboard sticker hearts. I'm going to use up the last of the hearts. I like to use at least three embellishment pieces or sequins. Last, we're going to add a butterfly, and this comes from the chipboard pack as well. The sentiment just says, follow your heart. And here is a close-up look at card number 10. I'll have the link to this card kit listed in the description box, as well as the links to all of the products I used in addition to what came in the card kit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for spending some of your time with me today. I hope that you were inspired. And I hope you get the chance to sit down and create some cards today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Take care. Bye.